Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to draw an angle with a protractor. And for our example, we're going to draw a 110 degree angle. Now, our first step when drawing an angle using a protractor is to draw the first arm of our angle. And all we need to do for this is to use a straight edge to draw a straight line. We can use the straight side of our protractor or even a ruler. I'm going to use my protractor and all we need to do, again, draw a straight line like this. And I'm going to put a small mark, a small dot on one end to show where our vertex will be. For this example, let's put the dot on the right side. Now keep in mind, this can be on either end of the line. Either will work. And that's our first arm of our angle. Next, our second step, we need to line our protractor up. The center point needs to be on the end of the arm where we made that dot. And then the baseline needs to be lined up with the arm. So here is our protractor lined up. We have our center point on one end of the arm. So I'm putting it right on that dot I made. Then we need the baseline of the protractor lined up on the arm. So that line at the bottom of the protractor that goes through the center point, the baseline is zero degrees. So line that up on the arm. So now our protractor is lined up and we need to mark the correct measurement. For this example, we need 110 degrees. Now there are two 110 degrees on the protractor. So which one do we use? Well, 110 degrees is an obtuse angle. So we need the 110 degrees that will give us that. So we can think through it that way. Or using the zero degrees from the baseline, the arm of the angle lined up with the baseline goes through the zero degrees on the outside track of numbers. This tells us to use the outside numbers. However we want to think about it, it's going to be this 110 degrees right here. So we need to make a small mark at 110 degrees that we will use to make our angle. So here's our small mark. And that's it for step three. Lastly, step four, we need to draw our second arm of the angle. What we need to do is pick up our protractor and use a straight edge to connect our dot on the end of the first arm. It's where we lined up the center point of the protractor to the dot that we made at 110 degrees. Simply put, we connect our dots. So we can line it up like this. Then we need to draw the arm. So we go from the end of the arm where the center point was to the mark we made at 110 degrees. And that's it. That's the second arm of our angle. So let's take away the protractor now and see what we have. And here's our angle. And we can draw arrows on the arms and label the angle as well. And we are done with our angle but let's double check to make sure we have a 110 degree angle here. So let's line our protractor back up. So our protractor is lined up and it looks like we are good to go. We have a 110 degree angle. So there you have it. There's how to draw an angle with a protractor. Now that was just one example. So if you'd like more examples, check the description for more videos. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.